So acquired hemophilia is a condition where patients develop antibodies to factor VIII. And while it can be seen in younger individuals, and particularly in women postpartum, it is by far more common in elderly individuals and increases as it increases with age. And this presents unique challenges, particularly in terms of treatment in this population. So a classic presentation is an elderly woman who comes in uh, covered with bruises or muscle hematomas and uh, anemia and has a PTT that is prolonged uh, it may correct initially on mixing, but then it prolongs with incubation. So in that presentation, it's important that the laboratory know that this is a potential diagnosis. And then it's confirmed with a factor eight activity and an antibody titer called a Bethesda unit. In terms of treatment, if the patient is bleeding and needs treatment, um, there are several options, and we have to think individually in terms of patient risk and deciding which one. So if the patient has a low titer antibody and you have the ability to monitor factor VIII real time in the hospital, we can sometimes overcome the inhibitor with human factor VIII given at higher concentration, uh, ideally by continuous infusion. Uh, other options are recombinant factor 7A and an activated PCC, the one available in the United States, is called FIBA. And there's also porcine factor eight. Now, in these elderly individuals, they may have cardiovascular risk, most of them do, or other uh, history. And so that needs to be taken into account because recombinant 7A and FIBA both have prothrombotic risk. And so if possible, using factor eight or using porcine factor eight for individuals particularly at risk may be a better option if you have those available. The other thing we have to do is get rid of the inhibitor with immune suppression and that carries its own risk in elderly individuals. There was a large um, uh, observational study in Europe that found that individuals with this disorder were as likely to die resulting from the immunosuppression as they were from bleeding. And so uh, in younger individuals, we can give them very intense immunosuppression and get rid of the inhibitor pretty quickly, but we can't really do that in the elderly individuals. So we have to choose uh, based on an individual basis what they can tolerate to get rid of the inhibitor, knowing that that may in itself carry uh, its own risk. And this is a rare condition. So it's really nice to reach out to an expert in the area and get his, her or his opinion in terms of uh, management because these uh, individuals are particularly challenging. <music>